Hello, my name is Lauren Malkowich, and for 30 years I worked for the Nevada Legislative Council Bureau, the central nonpartisan staff for the Nevada Legislature. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about participating in the legislative process, how easy it is in Carson City to follow the legislature online or even show up in person and testify. Uh, first thing when you think about when you think about the legislature is bills. Where do I get copies of bills? How do I see what bills are in the process? The easiest way to do this is through the legislature's website, uh, www.leg.state.nv.us, but you could just Google Nevada Legislature and find it. Once you get to the legislature's home page, you'll see on the right side of the home page a lot of very helpful links, starting with a link to calendar of meetings and all the meetings that are being held in the meeting, in the, in the building. Below that, you will see links to bills and legislative session. Uh, you can go through these links and see all the bills that have been introduced in the legislature or look at the BDR list. The BDR list is a list of all of the requests that have been submitted for drafting in this session of the legislature. If you want to check to see if an issue you're interested in is being considered, you could look at the BDR list and see if there are any proposals on those subjects. Once the BDRs are introduced, they become bills, either assembly bills or senate bills, or if they're resolutions, assembly or senate resolutions. You can see lists of these on the web page as well. If you want hard copies of the bills, you can go down to the legislative building and get copies. I mentioned the link at the top right hand corner of the legislative site to uh, the calendar of meetings. This is a very helpful link. If you click on this, it'll open up and show you all the scheduled meetings for the next week or so. On the right side of the page, it'll show the agendas for the meetings, and if the meeting is considering particular bills, there will be links to the bills themselves. If you click on the name of the committee, it will take you to a new development in the Legislative Council Bureau's website called the Nevada Electronic Legislative Information System, otherwise known as NELIS. NELIS has an incredible amount of information. It'll show you the names of the members of the committees. You can link to their bios. You can link to all the bills. You can see the agendas. One of the remarkable things about NELIS is that while you are watching a meeting, you can see the exhibits that are being considered by the legislative committee. If someone comes in and brings an exhibit, it is scanned in and put on NELIS, and you'll see it just as the legislators on the committee are seeing it. You can also see the budgets that are being considered. This is a new addition this session. In addition to seeing copies of the bills that are being considered, you can see copies of the, uh, the pages of the governor's proposed executive budget. You not only can see the information concerning the meetings, you can watch the meetings online as well. Uh, more than all of the legislative meetings are broadcast over the internet. And say, how can you broadcast more than all of them? Well, first of all, every single committee meeting, every single floor session of the Nevada Legislature is broadcast live over the website. In addition to this, in the interim, when other agencies use the building, if they want to have their meetings broadcast, they're broadcast as well. So the website is a good place to look in the interim also to keep up with interim legislative activities or meetings of other governmental entities, sometimes having hearings on regulations and things like that. But once you uh, get to the calendar of meetings, one of the uh, options you will have is to view the meeting. And you click on uh, the appropriate button for that, and it'll open up a video of the meeting. It'll also show you uh, the uh, agenda for the meeting and what item the committee is currently on. This is a new program just added uh, this session for the legislature. So. If you want to follow a subject or a bill, you can go online, you can look at the list of BDRs, search the list for subjects you're interested in, watch to see when those bills are introduced. You can look once the bill is introduced, there's a page showing the history of the bill, you can see the text of the bill, you can see the committee it's in, you can follow it to the committee, watch the committee meeting, uh, and see absolutely everything that the legislative committee does. But if you live in the Carson City area, you have an additional opportunity. You can attend these meetings. Uh, Nevada Legislature is very welcoming, very open to the public. It uh, is unlike Congress or some other state legislatures where only invited guests are allowed to attend or participate. The general public is welcome and invited to participate in legislative hearings. If you Say you've been tracking a bill and you see that it's a, uh, going to a particular committee and that committee is having a hearing on it and you want to testify, 
Well, look at the date, time, and meeting location. It'll all be in the legislative building. Go to the room that the meeting is scheduled. And when you walk in, you will see a sign-in sheet. Sign into the sheet, indicate the bill that you wish to testify on, and there's a box to check to say, yes, you wish to testify. When that bill comes up for hearing, the, what normally happens is that the chair of the committee will have the proponents of the bill testify, the people who are proposing it, and sometimes they'll have some organized testimony. But once they're done, the chair will look to the sign-in sheet and look to see who has signed up to testify in favor of the bill. They generally take all the testimony in favor and then turn to testimony in opposition, but that's up to the chair. Uh, if you want to testify, it is that simple. You come into the building, you sign in, you say, check the box, say you want to testify, and you wait for the chair to call you. When you are called up to the witness table, identify yourself, um, speak to through the chair, and uh, try not to repeat things that have been previously stated. Be clear and concise, and uh, remember, uh, try not to be nervous. That's the easy to say, hard to do. But uh, remember that they really want to hear what you have to say. They, they know what, the, uh, um, what most of the testimony on bills is going to be. They really want to hear what citizens like you have to say about the meetings. Um, what if you want to bring a group? You have a number of people who are interested in an issue. You want to say, well, let's, let's get a number of people to show up for a meeting. The building is a public forum. It is an open building. You can show up with additional people. However, as a courtesy, depending upon the size of your group, it's a good idea to let people know you're coming. If you know you're going to be attending a particular meeting, let the committee manager for the committee or the committee chair know, this is the group, here's how many of our people are coming, and we will be attending and, and speaking on this bill. What the chair may want to do is take the bill out of order so that the, the people who you have brought in will have the opportunity to testify. Um, but at the very least, uh, let them know. If you have a very large group, you may also want to notify the legislative police so they're not wondering why there are suddenly uh, 100 or 200 people entering the building from the front or back. Um, if you want to have, uh, many times what will happen during session and even during the interim is people want to have demonstrations on the legislative grounds. Uh, there is a form to be filled out if you want to use the legislative grounds that uh, not to prevent people but just so that the legislative police and the legislative council bureau and the legislators know who's out there. Um, you can get that form through the LCB, through the legislative police or through the grounds unit and uh, fill that out and uh, come in and uh, that way you will again not take anyone by surprise, not have people wondering what you're there for or what you're doing. If you just want to, you'll see all the time driving by on Carson Street, you'll see people on the sidewalk out by the street. If you're just going to be out on the sidewalk by the street, again, it's a good idea to let people know you're coming, but you have an absolute right to do that. If you'd like to see, I mentioned that uh, the meetings of the legislative committees are broadcast over the internet. Uh, we broadcast absolutely every single one. Not everybody has internet. A lot of people um, like viewing their legislative committee meetings uh, on Access Carson City Channel 226. If there's a particular meeting, if you're looking and uh, seeing that there's a meeting you're interested in that you think would be a good idea to broadcast, uh, just contact Darla at Access Carson City. Uh, the contact information for that will be, uh, will be placed on the screen through the mass magic of post-production. Um, other information that's available on the website, I have to tell you, the, the legislative website has more information available than you will ever be able to use in your life. During the time I worked for the legislature, I can't tell you the number of questions that I had from legislators, staff, reporters, the general public on legislative information that could be found just by looking at the website. The Research Library website contains a tremendous amount of information under hot topics. You can see links to um, various reports that have been submitted. Uh, if you look under hot topics under tax issues, you will see an entire page of links to reports and information concerning taxation. There is a link on that page to Vote Nevada that uh, gives you information concerning elections in the past, including a link I particularly like of uh, every ballot question from 1942 to the present, including the votes on all of those ballot questions. Research Division page also has information concerning legislators and uh, bill histories. If you want to find out about a bill that was passed several years ago, you can 
you can go to the legislative website for that as well and uh, get detailed information on the history. And of course, if you can't find it on the web, another advantage of being in the Carson City area is you can take advantage of the helpful staff of the Legislative Council Bureau, particularly those people working in the research library. The uh, ground floor of the building, the Sedway Office Building on the corner of Stewart and Fifth Street, very helpful and they'll help you locate any information or you can just give them a call and they'll help you find what you need on the website. So if you're tracking a bill and you've decided that you want to follow the bill and testify, um, once, you, once the bill is introduced there will be a particular page for it on the website. You can get to the, the page, it'll show the bill as introduced, it'll show the bill, any amendments that have been adopted for the bill and the reprints. The legislature has a printing office. When the bills are introduced, they are printed overnight and available for, uh, by the next morning. However, you don't have to wait that long. You can go right online. When a bill is introduced at 11 o'clock in the morning, when the legislature normally has their sessions, by 2 or so that afternoon, those bills will be available online. And if a bill is amended on the floor of the legislature, the reprinted amendment of that, the reprinted version of that bill will be available about the same time on the website, so even faster than the overnight printing. All of these different uh, functions combined, uh, the ability to track bills, the ability to watch the legislation, the ability on Nellis to see what the committees are seeing gives you a tremendous opportunity to participate in the process and especially the ability to show up to use this information that you've obtained online to show up and get, uh, express your opinion to the legislature. I hope you'll take advantage of that opportunity and participate in the legislative process. They really want to hear what you have to say. Thank you very much.